As I said in the um, previous video, my aim was to get the bazooki playing exactly how I wanted it to, action set up, intonation, pickup fitted, all of those sorts of things, and then take it apart and then apply the finish. So at the moment, the bazooki has just been um, sanded. It's had its final clean up and, and the wood itself or it is almost shiny at this stage um, and, and that's simply due to the preparation going through a whole load of um, fine abrasive materials and um, when you do that final clean up it's essential that you have good daylight so that you can see any imperfections. Finishing an instrument doesn't hide any marks if anything it accentuates them so it has to be perfect perfectly prepared before you apply the finish. Now, uh, uh, fi finishing has probably been one of the most debated areas of instrument making ever since Stradivari applied his secret recipe of varnish on his violins. And I'm definitely of the school of thought that um, a thin finish on an instrument is preferable. The idea of the finish is to enhance the beauty of the wood, keep it clean and also to, to protect it from any extreme, any sudden changes of humidity. What the finish doesn't do is protect it from plectrum marks or fingernails. That's the job of a pit guard if you're going to have one. When you, when you apply a thin finish, a thin film to any of the woods, the, the, the problem isn't that the finish itself is soft or it isn't hard, it's the, it's the underlying wood that's supporting the finish. And you can see, say, from this piece of cedar, how easy, how readily it marks with, with pressure from a thumbnail. Putting a finish on, on there, unless it's a really heavy, thick, synthetic finish, isn't going to stop that happening. Um, spruce is marginally better, but you can still see how easily that marks. Something like maple, of course, hardly marks at all. So you may ask yourself, why, why just have, a, have a, a thin finish? The point of a thin finish, as I think many luthiers and more and more players are starting to appreciate, is that the instrument simply sounds better. It's no good taking a beautiful piece of spruce, thick, thicknessing it to the nearest tenth of a millimetre, carving braces, etc., tapping it, listening to the tone, and then covering it in a thick thermoplastic, which is essentially what most of these resins and lacquers are, and uh, dampening all, 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 all of the tone and undoing all of that hard work that you've put into um, trying to get the tone out of the instrument. So, so my preference is to apply a thin finish over the whole of the instrument and then if the player um, wishes to fit um, a small pit guard in one area. So, um, a bit, bit, of, bit of a compromise but I think that that's better for the instrument rather than covering the whole thing in some sort of thick treacle-like substance. So on, on the bazooki, I'm going to use what um, I call an open pour satin finish. Um, it's a shellac-based finished finish, and I'm going to 
um, start applying it now. You have to be very careful when you have the combination of rosewood and maple. The rosewood bleeds so readily, so the, the first thing I'm going to do is to seal all of the maple with, and the soundboard with some shellac um, to, to reduce the possibility of that. I like to apply the first couple of coats of sealer just with um, a piece of paper towel. The reason being, as you'll see in a moment, the paper towel will pick up the paper towel will pick up the resin really quickly, and um, I can just simply discard this. Um, you get through a lot of, 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 of rag um, in these initial stages, so paper towel is probably better for that. Well, the maples had um, three coats of sealer on, um, so what I'm going to do now is, is almost the opposite. I'm just going to try to seal the rosewood um, and not touch the maple. And uh, you can see why I don't want to touch the maple. The resin from the rosewood, as I said earlier, really bleeds easily. Well, here we are. It's the end of the day. And the bazooki has had three coats of shellac, which should seal the rosewood and keep the, the maple clean. Um, tomorrow it will be sanded down very lightly. When I sand in between um, coats, I always use very, very fine abrasive paper, finer than most people re would recommend. Um, in this case, I'll be using 1200 wet or dry paper. I think on, a f on any finish, it's essential that you don't actually put scratches, deep scratches, into the finish um, otherwise you're going to spend a long time trying to fill those scratches with the finish itself um, so there we are three coats on there today um, similar thing tomorrow and for the next few days right i'm off for a cup of tea cheers <laughs>